What's going on guys? This is the Red Rogue and I hope you're all doing well today. Recently I had a um a, a pretty stupid mistake. And it led me on a bit of a quest, and that quest was to find some weak ores to help me track some information a little easier. Namely things like your currently active Covenant Soulbind, and the traits that you're using, and the conduits you're using, your legendaries and talents, you know, stuff like that. So I decided after sitting on Wago.io for like 5-6 hours that I'd found a few that I wanted to share with you all in case you've had this issue before. So thank you so much for joining me today, now let's see exactly what I found and because of me being a dingus why I can share it with you all. So as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I had a bit of a goof recently and was running the wrong trait and conduit on a soulbind for a few days. Obviously really annoying, and something I didn't realize until I was in the middle of making my Subtlety Rogue update video that I did this weekend. So due to this blunder, I wanted to find some weak ores to help me have a more obvious, visual indicator of a few things. Namely my talents, legendary choice, conduits, and soulbind choices. So this video will be a showcasing of three that I think are pretty sweet, and that way you can give them a shot yourself if you ever find that you suffer from hamster brain syndrome and do something like I did. Now mind you, I didn't make any of these, so all credit for the usefulness of these weak ores belongs to the creators whom I will try to mention as I go over them. Also, the download link will be in a pinned comment just as a heads up if you want to give them a shot yourself. First up is Selena's Soulbind and Conduits. Or maybe it's Sayina, I, I don't know. This was the first of these weak ores that I found that could tell me about my Soulbind and my Conduits that actually worked correctly. You see, out of the many weak ores that are supposedly able to do this, there are a lot that look really nice and can track all of this information at once and more, but if you change a soulbind trait or a conduit, it doesn't update until you reopen your weak ores panel or reload your UI. Which just doesn't do me any good, because then that means I have to reload my UI or open my weak ore panel, and if I was already going to open up a panel, I would just open up my soulbind panel anyways. This puts all of the conduit and soulbind information in text format, and it's color coordinated so you can tell each bit of information apart at a glance. Your soulbind's name will be in white, your soulbind specific traits are yellow, potency conduits are green, finesse conduits are red, and endurance conduits are blue. In the weak aura itself is a custom options tab, so you can choose which of these things you want to track. While not the most aesthetically pleasing option in my opinion, this does update instantly when you change anything on your Covenant Soulbind tree, and it's pretty good for folks who know the names of the Soulbind traits but they don't know what the visuals are right away. If you prefer a bit more eye candy and are better at remembering images over names though, then Covenant Setup by Translit is a fantastic option too, with a lot of extra bells and whistles. This will give you a visual icon representation of each of your Covenant, Conduit, and Soulbind choices. What's really nice about this is that it also works with the mask add-on, so the add-on icons have the same border as the rest of my UI since I used that add-on to do that. On top of that, you can mouse over the icon if you don't remember the image and will give you the tooltip information. This also has a custom options section, allowing you to decide how and what you want the weak ore to tell you. This has a couple ways you can sort and display the icons too, so it should be pretty easy to accommodate to your own special UI. And lastly, I have one that helps track another series of important information, especially for people who swap builds and talent loadouts and legendaries a lot. Without even realizing it at first, this is another weak aura by Translit, with the somewhat odd name of BFA Talent Setup. Don't be fooled by the name though, it absolutely works with current expansion things like our legendary powers and whatnot, though you may need to disable some of the BFA specific things like corruption when you first import it. This is a really handy little tracker that lets you see what talents you have active, as well as what legendary power you're currently using, and even the trinkets you have currently equipped. Like Translit's other weak aura, this one also supports the mask add-on so it'll fit right in with your UI really nicely, and mousing over any of the icons will show their tooltip information as well. While not technically a Shadowlands specific weak aura, this one is really handy for me because I tend to swap between talents a lot for things like dungeons versus raiding, and even between certain boss fights as I feel I need to, so having a little visual display of what I currently have active is amazing. Much like Translit's other weak ores, this one is really modular as well, so be sure to check out the custom options panel in the weak ores UI to see what you want and how you want it. 
And there you have it, folks. I hope this little hamster brain story of mine helps reflect the importance of why you should keep track of your soul binds and your conduits and your legendaries, especially if you swap builds and talent loadouts around between like raiding or multi-target or single target or dungeons or whatever, as it can be very detrimental if you're running the wrong ones. As I mentioned earlier, there will be a pinned comment, so you can download these weak orbs for yourself and give them a shot. And I hope this video was helpful to you. If so, then please consider leaving a like, a comment, or maybe even subscribing to the channel if you haven't yet. It's all tremendously appreciated and helps a lot with the channel's growth. And as always, my gratitude to you, my viewers, commenters, subscribers, and especially my patrons, who all help make these Shiba shenanigans possible. Thank you all so much for watching. This is the Red Rogue, and I'll see you guys around.